Hey guys, this is Subhash Mishra, your test coach. Today, we'll learn one of the most frequently asked interview questions on Java programming. Write a program to find the missing number in an array. So, we have an array like this, 1, 2, 4, 5. Here, we need to find the missing number. So, here we know the missing number is 3. So, we need to find it programmatically. So, what happens usually interview asks you have a big array, for example, 1 to 100 and something is missing in between. So, you need to find that number. So, let's see how can we do that. Let's go to our Eclipse. We will create a new class. Okay. Now, we will name it as missing number in array. Fine. So first, what we will do, we will first initialize an array, int array equal to new int and we will take a small array, 1, 2, 4, 5, because it will be easy to understand, we know here the missing number is 3. Then we will take one more variable as song, ok, type is integer and we will assign 0 to it, fine, then what we will do, we will take another variable int n and what we will assign to it, we will assign the length of the array, so how we will find the length of the array, we have, this is our array, so what we will write, array dot length. I'll tell you why we are doing that. So we got the length. Let's print that also. So we will write length of the array is okay plus n. Okay, so we got length of the array. So what next we'll do? Now we'll take another variable and there we will find total sum of these numbers so whatever number we have right we want to find the total sum so you can use this simple formula n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 2 so if all these numbers are in a sequence right so it will consider all this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it will give you the sum. So we will see that. Let us print it for now. So what we will write? Sum of all the numbers. Okay. Plus print this. Now we will find our missing number. How we will do that? We will write for int i equal to 0 i is less than n then i plus plus here we will write a simple logic sum equal to sum plus array of i I will explain what we are doing here ok then we will find the missing number so missing number equal to total sum minus this sum ok now let us print it missing number is plus let me execute and show it. So, what we got? Length of the array is 4, sum of all the numbers is 15, missing number is 3. Okay. Fine. Now, 
let's understand what we did here so we know we have taken a consecutive array where uh, we have taken the values like 1 2 3 4 5 so here if i explain you we know the values are 1 2 3 4 and 5 and missing is 3 so how we'll get this it is simple right if we'll find first all these numbers what is the sum of all these numbers so here what i'm telling is total sum equal to sum of all these numbers right so 1 plus 2 3 plus 3 6 plus 4 10 plus 5 equal to 15 right then this is missing so forget about this what are the remaining items let's do some of that so sum of array whatever values given in the array will do some of that 1 plus 2 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 12 equal to 12 and finally what we did we did 15 minus 12 equal to 3 so we got whatever we want whatever the missing number right so we added all these numbers and we added other than this missing number sum of whatever values given in the array and finally we from this number total sum minus whatever this remaining uh, sum of array so we will get what is missing number so that's what we did here so here we have the array 1 2 4 5 then we have a variable sum type is integer and we assign 0 to it then we have another variable as n again type is integer and what we have assigned to it array dot length whatever the array length of that array so here you can see length of the array is 4 okay here we are printing that then finally we are finding this total sum so whatever we did here right so this is the formula how you can find it so what is the total length of it length is nothing but n n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 2 it will give you the total sum so for example you have numbers 1 to 10 it will give you also the total result total sum then what we did we have a simple for loop for int i equal to 0 i is less than n n is again the length and i plus plus what we did sum equal to sum plus array of i so this sum is whatever the values present here right so the sum initial the sum value equal to 0 so 0 plus array of i in array of i what is there it was 1 so first we got value as 1 then again it loop went up i value equal to 1 so what we got the value is 2 here right so sum equal to sum plus array of i so 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 then again 3 plus 4 equal to 7 then 7 plus 5 equal to 2 or uh, 12 so what we got total sum we got as 12 finally what we do it then whatever i have explained here right so whatever the total sum total sum minus this sum so we got the missing number okay so this is how you can find a missing number but the limitation here is if you have only one missing number then this program will work if you have more than one missing number this program will not work so let me tell you if you want to see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and for example 7 is missing here let's see if this program works or not see we got the missing number is 7 similarly you can put till 100 you can get also the whatever the missing number 100 thousand whatever but it should be in here we should have all the numbers it should not be like more than one number is missing okay thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel